Oh. Man, that is a, that's a bad injury. Uh, most likely we'll need his ACL reconstructed. Do not try this at home. This is not good. What's up guys? This is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. Um, I focus mostly on spine surgery, but I do quite a bit of orthopedic trauma surgery. So fixing fractures and musculoskeletal type injuries. Um, patients, they do things like these videos and they show up to the ER. So in this video today, I'm going to be reacting to some viral videos of essentially orthopedic injuries, musculoskeletal injuries that uh, videos that I've seen online that have went viral. In this video, I'm gonna give my thoughts. Let's check them out. The title is Weightlifter Breaks Spine. First of all, this is a lot of freaking weight. You know, that's one thing when I was younger, I used to lift all, try to lift all this weight, heavy weights, and do all these uh, crazy exercises, but I realized that uh, that's probably not the best thing for your joints, for your knees, for your hips, adding all of that increased pressure, especially your spine. The disc in your spine will degenerate faster with increased weight. And trying to pick up this much weight, probably not a good idea. And essentially what it looks like is he had a possibly a vasovagal reaction or a syncopal ep episode. Essentially where you pass out, you lose consciousness, all of your blood flow is trying to go to your muscles and to your tendons and essentially to the body parts that you need to lift this heavy weight and it's diverted away from your brain. That's how you lose consciousness. So um, he passed out, you know, uh, it doesn't look like it's fake or staged because he fell directly on this weight. And they show this picture of the CT scan here. Um, I'm not exactly sure this is the uh, CT scan of this gentleman. This is not a mechanism that would cause this. Th essentially, this is a high uh, velocity or high mechanism type injury. MVC, fall from a 100 foot r roof or a, you know, if you're thrown 100 feet in the air and land somewhere. So uh, I don't think the CT scan is actually showing this, but essentially if this patient, if someone showed up with a CT scan that looks like this, they would, I would put my money on it, they would most likely have some type of cord injury. Uh, the spinal cord ends around L1, L2, so this is like five, four, three, two, one. You're like right at the, the end of where the spinal cord ends. But it's likely they would have an uh, end of the spinal cord called the cauda equina, uh, where it's just all nerve roots uh, can be injured. This is why I don't like coming to Planet Fitness. I have no idea what this guy right here is doing. <laughs> This is exactly, I've, I've never been in Planet Fitness before, but uh, I've heard uh, you know, a lot of stories of crazy things that are going on in Planet Fitness. Uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty interesting. I'm not sure what this guy's doing right here. I love the commentary. This is why I'm not, I don't like to come to uh, Planet Fitness. All right, let's check out the next one. Oh. Man. That is a, that's a bad injury. Uh, you know, something, I, I've seen a lot in my time in my training as a resident, trauma surgery, anything that you can possibly think of, I've seen. But, you know, watching some of these videos, I still cringe a little bit in terms of, uh, they look very painful. And this gentleman uh, was trying to do this exercise, which doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why do this? Usually there's a support on the back of this um, and then it, you can see his tibia kind of translates forward and his femur snaps kind of went back a little bit. So he tore his ACL essentially. Um, wow, if he tried to place weight on this, you know, he would have some pain and discomfort, uh, but most likely get an MRI at this point, uh, most likely we'll need his ACL reconstructed. Do not try this at home, this is not good. Oh! Man, that looks like it hurts. Um, so she she went down this little hill here and her foot was um, almost in a flex position. It, it, it actually flexed a little bit more. Um, so she most likely had a ankle dislocation, definitely fractured. Uh, usually when you um, hit something really hard, the end of your tibia is called the plafond. It can drive into your talus. You can have a talus fracture. 
Um, aviators back in the day used to get these types of fractures. You, you, you can have a dislocation of your ankle, break your fibula, which, which is the outer portion of the ankle, or the medial malleolus. So you can have a uh, bimal fracture. So this looks like it hurts. You know, you heard that little pop. She tore some ligaments, broke a uh, certain parts of her bone. I'm not sure until we get x-rays, but uh, looks very painful. First of all, what are you doing in the gym with the dress on and heels? Really impressive though, I, th I'm impressed, but uh, this is actually pretty dangerous too. You're in heels, uh, you're on one leg, one foot. Um, you know, you can twist your ankle and dislocate your ankle just like this here, just standing. Uh, you know, your heels are what, three, four inches off the ground, twist your ankle from this weight. Um, you can have an ACL type tear if you twist your, your knee and land wrong. Uh, so. Definitely don't try this right here. This is um, just for show. And I, I like this comment right here that says stupid. This is exactly what this is. I would not recommend doing this. Uh, very crazy. This is what, is what keeps orthopedic surgeons in business. I begin to pass out. And my head hit the wall. Oh. But I had a friend. Man. <laughs> and I love the commentary. I mean, the music and the... Uh, the sound as, as that weight hit her, hit her neck and hit her head. That's pretty crazy. I mean, you have all this force, all this weight that just lands on top of your shoulders, on your neck. Uh, you can have a dis herniation. You can have a fracture of your neck. Uh, I mean, muscle skeletal, rotator cuff tear, um, all sorts of pro um, problems that can arise from this. So pretty crazy. Um, uh, type um, injury and uh, you know I hope she, you know she was well I, I didn't there, there's no end of this but I hope she is doing well but the guy next to her is just hanging out just uh, just watching <laughs> hopefully he went over there and tried to help her but this looks very painful oh, 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 I like this dude. Oh man, uh, I've worked out before, you know, too hard, got pushed by a trainer or when playing sports and started throwing up. Uh, this is actually called exercise induced nausea, I believe, or vomiting. Uh, your, essentially your body diverts all of your blood from your, from your uh, stomach to your extremities and to your muscles uh, to lift these weights and uh, you experience nausea. So it's actually a real kind of thing, condition, but uh, it's really impressive. He did not give up. He was going to keep going until he got that weight up, uh, even though there was vomit everywhere. And I like the uh, the guy who was <laughs> commentating, uh, I like his uh, commentary. But uh, this dude right here, not very safe, but uh, I give thumbs up to this dude for persistence. Man, hopefully this guy is in the NFL or NBA, you know, working out like this. That's crazy. I mean, uh, so many injuries can r result from this, especially when you are um, uh, getting hit in the stomach, holding this weight above your head. Lots of different things can, can, can happen, uh, different types of meniscal tears, uh, rotator cuff injuries, uh, when, when you are holding that weight above your head like that, running that fast. So uh, definitely not safe, but I hope this guy is uh, taking his talents to the NFL. This is how I broke my lower spine. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. Slip this. <laughs> Oh man, I, I fucked up. Yeah, that's exactly right. You should not be lifting this much heavy weights. So I can't get across to the people at the gym. Like, 
Do not, like, lifting all those heavy weights is gonna do damage to your body. Lift light weights, high repetition, that's probably the best thing for you. Um, you know, this is very painful to watch, as someone mentioned in the comments, and if you guys haven't seen that Ronnie Coleman documentary, if you lift weights and they're heavy weights, um, watch that documentary. I, I promise, it, promise you it will change how you, uh, you work out. But this gentleman here who's trying to lift, I mean, three, two, three hundred pounds, um, and then they show his MRI right here when they say slip disc. So when someone says a slip disc, they're talking about like a disc herniation, which spine surgeons, we don't refer to it as a slip disc, we, we refer to it as a disc herniation. When we're talking about a slip vertebrae, that's essentially when the vertebrae slides forward and it slips from one position to the other. So that's called a slip vertebrae or a spondylolisthesis, which is a fancy uh, word for a slip vertebrae. But uh, certainly, lifting too much, all that pressure, especially when you're flexing, it puts a lot of pressure on the disc. You, if you remember the disc is, uh, there's like jelly inside. Uh, the nucleus pulposus is in the, in the middle, and the annulus fibrosus is outside, the more hardened structure. So a disc herniation is essentially when the jelly portion, the nucleus pulposus, spits out. And it can push onto a nerve, or push onto your spinal cord, and cause pain that goes down your legs. It can cause bowel or bladder symptoms if it's very severe, but you can certainly get it from lifting heavy weights like this. <laughs> oh man, this little guy trying to lift these heavy weights like jailhouse weights and um, fell right on his jaw. I mean, that's pretty dangerous. You should not be doing that. Have a spotter behind you. You know, someone's going to be able to hold the weight up if you can't lift that much, especially when it's going to land on your face. A lot of important structures here that can fracture really easily. And the OFMS doctors, they fix these fractures, or plastic surgeons, if there's a fracture of the mandible, fracture in the face, the uh, nasal bone, those fractures. So some of those fractures need surgery and they put plates and screws sometimes to put it back together. So uh, pretty dangerous as well. So these are my reactions to these viral kind of fitness videos. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you lift properly, lift safely, and use a spotter if you have to. Do not go into the gym wearing high heels and a dress trying to lift weight above your head. That's what keeps us in business, and that's what keeps us busy from people that are doing things, especially during these crate challenges. Uh, be safe. I don't play with fireworks. I don't get on motorcycles. I don't, I'm not going skydiving. There are certain, th certain things I don't do because I know they're high risk and I need to protect my hands. So as an orthopedic surgeon, this is what I do. I fix injuries like this and take care of fractures of patients who are on these viral videos. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Send me some other videos if you, got, if you guys want me to react to them and uh, we'll see you next time.